Hi everyone, here's what's bothering me today. The Sam Seder and Steven Crowder surprise debate, which really at the end of the day was just Crowder screaming and kicking like a petulant toddler for about two or three minutes before he rage quit the debate. Now, already, right, the right wing and Crowder's defenders are in damage control. It's like, this was really dishonest of H3H3, even though he's apparently a known prankster. I don't know, I'm literally just getting cliff notes from Twitter at this point. But here's the crux of the matter that is bothering. Well, you know what? Actually, no, there's several things that are bothering me. So let's just get through them. For starters, it's the fact that uh, Steven Crowder is apparently a total coward and his holster may as well be for a adult sized sippy cup. Because he just immediately tried to run away, which, uh, you know, for a guy who talks about, you know, yeah, come on, we'll have people on the program, come debate me, bro, yeah, you know, and like he goes, he, he does the Ben Shapiro thing, apparently, of going out and, you know, trying to interview people and dunk on, like, poorly prepared college graduates or students or something like that, a really uneven, you know, there's a power imbalance there, purely for gotchas and content that his audience eagerly eats up, and then... On top of that, right, you know, here he is showing, like, you know, I'm I'm such a man, me have gun, me, me, me lift, me smart, debate me, bro, me man. And then Sam Sater gets onto a phone call with him, and the dude practically craps himself and then has to run away from a debate. This brings us to the second point where apparently I didn't know this, but apparently it, it has been a thing that for years, Sam Sater has been trying to debate Steven Crowder, and it's never really worked out. And then finally, when, you know, the opportunity arises, Crowder chickens out. And then apparently while he was chickening out, Crowder also admitted to borderline stalking Sam Sater to see when he would have his show so that he could go on to different shows and stuff and not have to actually debate Sam Sater. Dude was keeping track of Sam because he was that scared and that much of a coward, which like, oh my God. So that's, you know, those ones out of the way. Here's the other part about all this that's really not sitting well with me that to my knowledge, at least so far, I haven't seen discussed a whole lot. Already, the people on Crowder's side are working free overtime to try and spin this as, well, both sides took the L here, or this was really dishonest of Ethan, and, well, you know, I can't really blame Crowder. It's like, it really, again, brings into stark and unfortunate focus how much American politics and the whole debate bro culture is really just about points in some kind of game that people are imagining. If you want further insights into the whole debate bro thing, John Duncan has a really great video. I'd suggest checking that out. But it really shows how these guys, people like Crowder and Shapiro, when they aren't in their immediate comfort zone and safe space surrounded by their yes men and easily dunkable, you know, college students or high school graduates, it's of course really easy to feel like, oh, look, I know what I'm talking about. And then if you actually get into the ring with someone who knows what they're talking about and has years of experience and, you know, policy expertise, whatever the subject matter may be, then it's a different matter entirely. And unfortunately, with so much of this debate bait bro, you know, culture, if you want to call it that. All these people are basically trying to ensure that however they can craft it in their minds, oh no, see, my guy totally won this one and your guy totally lost. You know, it's okay to lose sometimes, but it seems that there's something relatively new in the current digital media landscape that makes it so that conservatives and people like Steven Crowder and Ben Shapiro no, it's impossible for them to lose. They're such titans of intellect, which is why they run scared whenever they're actually challenged on points like Ben Shapiro was by that famous, at least over in Britain, famously conservative host or Crowder just now showing what a absolute coward he is when given the opportunity to debate Sam Sater. This is not a recipe for a actual healthy discourse 
which theoretically the whole debate thing is supposed to do. And yet already in the aftermath, we're seeing that that's not the case, which then begs the question of how necessary and how valuable it is. And the fact that this isn't part of the conversation is definitely what's bothering me today.